Hello and welcome. In this video, we are going to learn how to create OIC integration which will subscribe to an event in Oracle ERP Cloud. I have listed down few points which we need to consider for building OIC integration. First and the foremost thing is we need to create ERP adapter connection. After creating the connection, we need to create OIC integration that is by considering ERP adapter connection in the trigger and we need to configure it to receive business events raised within ERP cloud. Then we need to create an event. So in our case, we are going to create a purchase order in Fusion. So as soon as we submit our purchase order, it will create an event and invoke our OIC integration. Then we'll monitor the integration and verify. I'm here in the official documentation by Oracle on Oracle ERP cloud adapter for Oracle integration. There are few prerequisites as you all know. If you don't know, you can refer this document. I will directly go to this add the Oracle ERP cloud adapter connection. In our case, we are interested in this trigger request page. Here there are three operations available. Receive business events raised within ERP cloud. This is what we are going to use in this video. Another is a callback. Suppose if you are making use of bulk import job in one of the integration, then as soon as that completes the job, it will trigger the integration if you select this option as a callback in an asynchronous pattern. And the third one is receive request for ERP cloud application explicitly sent from Groovy script or business logic. There is an option available in Oracle ERP cloud from app composer wherein you can write a Groovy script and invoke our OIC integration over HTTP protocol. So we are ignoring those things for this video and going directly toward this option. I have already created this integration ERP cloud PO event test one. Let me open this integration. As you could see, this is the ERP connection which I have already created and used it in a trigger. Let me open the configuration wizard for this. Under basic info, it's just a name and description if any we need to provide. In the request, I have selected this option that is receive business events raised within ERP cloud. As I shown over here, we need to select this if you are subscribing for any particular event from our ERP cloud. I am considering purchase order for this demo. Based on your requirement, you need to select the events. There will be a list of uh, events for subscriptions available. So there is this option that is filter expression for purchase order event. Suppose if you want to receive the events only for specific conditions, like in my case, I am putting the condition check on the description. In the purchase order line items, if there is any line item for which the item description is test cable 20, then only I want the event to flow to this OIC integration. For any other events, then I don't want it to invoke our OIC integration. Okay, This is just a selection criteria and it's optional. If you want to receive events for all the purchase orders created, then you don't have to have this filter expression. In my case, I don't want any response to send back. If in your case, uh, if you want the response to send back to ERP, then you have to select the delayed option. Let me close this. So once I get the event data or the purchase order details, I'm just calling one application over here. I have considered the visual builder business object. I'm updating the business object for purchase order in visual builder. In your case, you might have different scenario where you want to sync the data to some database or any other application. Business logic will come over here. So that's it in this integration. Let me close this. I'm here in the Fusion ERP cloud. I'm going to create one order now. Create purchase order. I filled up the supplier details. Once you verify all the details like ship to location, currency, who is the buyer, what is the business unit for procurement and requisition. So once you are satisfied with all the details, click on create. I'm going to add one purchase order line over here. So I have added the purchase order line for this order wherein the description I have provided as test cable 20. For this we have added the filter condition. If you are creating the purchase order with such description in the purchase order line then those events will only be flowing to our OIC integration. I am submitting this order and going to monitoring in OIC integration. We will verify. So the purchase order 164688 was submitted for approval. Click on OK. I have received the event for PO that is for 164688 purchase order so there is this error let me check the audit log for this this error is because i am having some issue with the visual builder rest apis so we'll ignore this 
So like this, we can create an OIC integration to subscribe to a particular event in Oracle Fusion ERP Cloud. As we have considered the minimalistic things for demo, but in an actual case, you will, might need to sync the purchase order details from uh, ERP to some other application. At that time, this will be uh, very useful. Thank you for joining us in this video.